In this video, we're going to talk about indie push notifications for the React Native Expo framework using nativenotify.com. Now, what is an indie push notification? An indie push notification is a push notification that goes to an individual. So with nativenotify.com, there's two different kinds of push notifications. There's mass push notifications, these are push notifications that go to all of your users at the same time. The second type is indie push notifications. These are push notifications that go to individuals. So for example, say you're building the next Twitter or something like that, and uh, you have a lot of followers and you post something and somebody likes your post. Well, say you want that uh, person who made the post to know about it. Say when somebody likes that post, you want a push notification sent to the, the owner of the post saying, hey, someone just liked your post. Click this, uh, tap on this push notification to see who it is or something like that. That's uh, how what indie push notifications are for. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up indie push notifications using native notify. But before we get started, if you like videos about expo development, things like that, React Native, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. We make a lot of videos about Expo, and React Native, push notification, things like that. And also be sure to like this video if you like this video. And let's go ahead and get started. Your first step, if you haven't already, is to go to nativenotify.com and click this sign up free button. It's free to sign up. There's no credit card required. That should take you to a page like this. If you have not created an app already, you, you would click this create an app button. I've already created an app. Um, I called it PageCow. Right here is where the documentation is. So your first step, uh, if this is your first time using Native Notify, is to make sure to follow these start here instructions. These instructions will set up mass push notifications for you. So after following these instructions, you'll be able to send push notifications to all of your users. Uh, the first part of it, you can be set up in literally under two minutes. Uh, it's, it's pretty simple. You just npm install uh, native notify, copy this code here, and you're done. That's it. You've already got mass push notifications set up. Um, I have a video that walks you through these startup, these start here instructions. It should pop up on the screen uh, right around there. Make sure to follow those steps if you have not already. You need to follow these steps first or indie push notifications will not work. So it's very, very important. You must follow all of these instructions first before you go to indie push notifications or the indie push setup guide won't work. All right, so after you follow these start here instructions, you can go ahead and go to indie push setup guide to set up indie push notifications. So here's a preview of how uh, everything works. So step one is registration. You have to send us a, uh, a unique identifier for each of your app users. Uh, usually, if you have an app where uh, people create an account and log in, uh, you usually have a unique identifier, an ID for that user. We need that ID. It can be anything. It can be a number. It can be a long string of letters. Um, it can be a phone number, an email. Um, whatever you want it to be, it just needs to be unique to that individual user and no other user can share that ID. We need a unique ID for each individual user. Then after that, you can use that ID to send individual push notifications just to that specific user. Instead of sending push notifications to everybody, you can use the, the user ID you sent to us to send push notifications to individual users. Usually the way uh, people register their users is uh, in the login function or the sign up function that you have. So whenever your user logs in, um, normally when they log in, uh, in your API call, it'll return the user data. Uh, you just need to make sure to return the user's ID, whatever that is. Um, and inside of that login function, every time somebody logs in, you can use this function that I'm about to show you to, to send us the unique user ID 
that you can then use to send ND push notifications. So let's go ahead and get started. So step one in your login component, make sure to import this function. All right, so, so this is my login page. It's my login function. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and come up here and I'll just import it right there. Remember how I mentioned you need to make sure to follow the start here instructions. Um, during the start here instructions, you'll install this native notified package. So I'm assuming you have already followed the start here instructions. Step two is to make sure your login screen, the login component is a hook function. It has to be a hook function. If it's not a hook function, uh, none of this will work. It has to be a hook function or any push notifications won't work. Basically all a, a hook function is, is it looks something like this. It says export default function, login screen or whatever screen you've named it. Um, it just looks like this. If you're not sure what hooks are, how hooks work, there's a link right here that uh, explains how it works. It's very simple. It's not complicated at all. Just make sure your login component is a hook function. All right. And mine already is a hook function. So I'm going to go to step three. Inside of your login function or whatever function you uh, will have your unique user ID uh, available, uh, I have it inside of my login function. So Inside of your login function, it says to copy this code right here um, and paste it in there. So this handle post function is my login function. Uh, basically what's happening here is you'll see there's an API call login, then uh, in this then, is where I'm getting my user ID. So you'll notice right here, it says response res.data.userID. So that's my user ID. I need that information in this call. So I'm gonna put this code right here because I'll have my user ID available to use. Now you'll notice in this register indie ID, your app ID and your app token is already there for you. So you don't need to touch that. Uh, what you're interested in is right here. It says, put your unique user ID here as a string. Now it's very important. It has to be a string. Even if your user ID is a number, you have to change it to a string or this won't work. Um, and I'll show you how to do that because my user ID is actually a number. It's a number. So if I were to just do this, it would not work because my user ID is a number um, and it has to be a string or this won't work. So uh, the way you do that, one way you can do that is to put back ticks in before and after and then uh, surround it by curly braces, put a dollar sign. That's a quick way to turn a number into a string. Um, and so now, with, with this, my user ID is a string now. So this will work now. All right, so that's all you have to do to have uh, your individual users registered with us. You can then use your user ID to send indie push notifications, push notifications to individuals. Uh, the way it works is down here is our API. Uh, we absolutely need the unique ID, which is the sub ID, your app ID, app token, and then you can put a title and a message. We definitely need these things to send an individual push notification to somebody. Another uh, optional thing, so this is not required, but an optional thing is to send a push data object. Uh, you can send a push data object with your uh, API call if you would like. Uh, you can use this a lot of times if you would like the user to be redirected a specific screen um, and I'll show you how that, that works. So I'm going to go ahead and put a data object in with my uh, call. I'm using Axios with mine. So if you haven't already, uh, you should NPM install Axios. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. What I want to do is uh, immediately after logging in, I want to send 
myself a, a notification automatically that says, congratulations, you successfully signed in. So I'm going to put that under this register ND ID function. I'm going to put this right here. And you'll notice I, I made this an async function right here. Um, for, for this purpose, it's important that it's an async because I'm going to put the word await here to make sure uh, I'm telling the code, make sure you first register this individual first before you move on to do this. Uh, this async isn't required for register any push notifications to work. So if you're not doing this, uh, taking this would still work. Um, and then you can could use this uh, wherever you want, however you want, whenever somebody likes a comment or something like that. Um, but for for this video, I'm going to have a notification sent to them right away saying, congratulations, you logged in correctly. So for my title, well, first, before I forget, so sub ID, again, this has to be a string. So I'm going to copy this, these back six dollar sign curly brace user ID. So this is the user ID I registered. I'm going to end up registering with native notify. And then my app ID app tokens already there for you. You don't have to update that at all. And here I'm going to say, can, oops, congratulations. You logged in correctly. All right. And I'm also going to send myself a push data object. You can find that information here. So you could just copy this here. You could, uh, make sure to put a comment here, paste that there. Uh, this says, this says your property, your property value. So this can be whatever. I'm going to say screen name. And I have a screen name called categories. So I'm going to say when they click on this, uh, this push notification, when they tap on it, I want it to go to the category screen. I'll be coming out with another video soon that explains push data objects in more detail. If you'd like to learn about that, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'll be coming out with a video real, real soon about um, how you can use this. But moving on. OK, so. So we're done. Um, I should be able to open up my uh, my app, and whenever I log in, it should automatically register the user ID uh, with us. And then after that, it should automatically send a push notification to just the person who logged in, not all the users, but just the one who logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and click, type in Expo Start to start my server and test everything out. So if you're using React Native Expo, um, you've probably heard about the app called Expo Go. Um, it's, it's right there. It looks like that. That's Expo Go. Uh, you can find it on the, the App Store. You can just go to the App Store and download Expo Go. Um, and then you can open up your the Expo Go app. You can open it up. And there's something that says scan right there. You can click that to scan this code right here. And that will open up your push. That will open up your app on your phone. So that's what I'm doing. And it's important whenever you're working with push notifications, make sure to open the app up on the Expo Go app. Uh, push notifications don't work in a simulator or an emulator. Push notifications will only work on a phone. So that's why it's real important that you use uh, the Expo Go app. All right, so my app is, is open. And I a uh, quick note here is I know my push notifications start here, mass push notifications are set up correctly because there's this little console log that pops up that says you successfully registered your native notified push token. So that means push notifications are definitely set up correctly in my app. So I can go on to my login function. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And what should happen after I log in is 
the user ID should be registered with native notify and then I should automatically get this push notification sent to myself. So let's try it out. All right, and I got it. So here I'll show you. There's that notification. It says, congratulations, you successfully logged in. So that didn't get to sent to all my users. It just got sent to, to me because I just logged in. All right, so when I click this, this push data object should appear and it returned there. If you have any questions about this, I know this is a bit more advanced than the normal push notification system, but if you have any questions about it, be sure to type your questions in the comments below. I've also put my email in the description below. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about this. Um, the goal with, with Indie push notifications is it kind of gives you the most control. You can programmatically um, set up push notifications to automatically send to your users based on certain events. So when certain events happen, you can just write in the code yourself to have specific push notifications sent to, to individual users. Um, and one last thing before we go, uh, a quick way. So say somebody likes uh, a post, say this is being used in, in a post or something like that, where somebody likes a comment. Uh, so the way you could uh, use that is say so, somehow you have uh, res.data, something like res.data dot the user who uh, clicked like or something like that could do something like this with a title and say, um, you could do a back tick here and you could do that dollar sign curly braces and you could say the user who clicked like liked your photo or something like that. Um, that's how you can have kind of a dynamic uh, push notification. They don't all have to be the same. You can uh, use, you know your app better than, than I do, but you could use uh, content like that in a dynamic way to send a more individualized push notification to, to individuals. Be sure, if you like this video, make sure to like the video, uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos, and uh, we're coming out with videos all the time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.